On 844, if you missed the special on Don Ho, the music legend last night, don't worry. It re-airs tomorrow on KHNL at 7 p.m. Yesterday marked what would have been his 90th birthday. Tiny bubble, make me warm all over. Her song had a catchy tune with easy to remember lyrics. Tiny Bubbles was released in 1966 on the album of the same name, but he also had some local favorites as well. There's an island across the sea Beautiful Kauai Beautiful Kauai It will air at 7 p.m. That's tomorrow night on KHNL. We're hoping for a speedy recovery for photographer and artist J Kim Taylor Reese on Instagram. He says he had a procedure done on his arteries so he could avoid open heart surgery. He's famous for his portraits of hula dancers. Anuhea has new music that is releasing today. She posted this up on her Instagram page. Smiling through my migraine because I have a new song coming out. Hope she recovered from her migraine. Hard Place drops everywhere today. There will be a delay in the new season of NBC's The Voice. The star-studded reality singing competition will be pushed back at least a few weeks. September 7th was supposed to be the new start date, but Deadline is reporting that the new show will be replaced for the time being with American Ninja Warrior. Variety is reporting that season 19 will not be ready to go on Aloha, welcome to Cheap Eats. Augie's not here. Instead, we have the Musubi expert from Sunrise, Billy V. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu, Billy V desu. Um, we are here in Kaneohe. I actually used to rent a house down here way back in the day in the 90s. That's right. We're, the police station is over there. The Toyota dealership is right there. We're right in between. And, you know, it's really good because it's, you know, this is a busy area. You can just grab and go for a lot of people. And this is a grab and go place. It's called Got Grinds, and they specialize in Musubi. Yeah, Got Grinds, but it's actually the Goto sisters. There's three of them that own this place. G-O-T-O, but they took out the O and put in the Z. Yeah, great musubi. Let's go check it out. Mm -hmm. Definitely not my grandma's musubi. Mm. All these specialty ones, and you can buy a specialty pack like this, so you can get a nice flavoring of all the specialty. Yeah, and the great thing is, is that the prices on these, like the the, the pack like this, is about less than nine dollars if so you want the whole thing, you know. Yeah, and this will definitely fill you up. Now, on a cold day, mm. they got a couple of dishes, a handful of dishes that'll really warm your soul. Well, especially in Kaneohe, since it's rain, they get cold <laughs> a lot, you know, we're coming up to winter time, yeah, perfect yeah, for that, perfect. right? And some uh, very traditional Japanese dishes as well, starting with Billy's bowl. Oh, beef gut. This is the curry. Mm -hmm. And so this is nice, got the vegetables in there, got the beef in there, but of course, me, I'm looking for the rice. Now, they also have something called the Gots Miso Soup. Okay, so, so they got a couple different ones. This one is called tonjiru. It's pork with um, veggies in it. So you can see, real hearty. Look at all this oh, stuff nice. in there. Now this one, just to let you know, is under $9 if you want to go grab this bowl over here. This much, just less than four bucks. But say you want something a little bit bigger, you know, heartier, right? Okay. Go ahead and eat, you know, rather than just a musubi, because that might be a little bit small for some people. Here we go. They got deluxe bento. So you can get this one for $10. Wow. Uh, this one has spam inside. This one has the sausage. This one has, ooh, tempura, ebi, and then this one, chicken karage with the rice on it. And if specialty musubis weren't enough, they round it out with all these homemade desserts. They make them here. Yeah, and you can take them and grab them and take them to grandma's house, auntie's house. Look at this, a custard butter mochi. Who makes that? You can bring them to my house. I just. So you come for the musubi, you end up leaving with the dessert. And you make other people happy. And it's all good. And you have it's a smile good. on your face. So got grinds open every day except Sunday and Monday here in Kaneohe. Yeah, they go from 6 in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's perfect. It's on Kamehameha Highway in between, you were saying, the fire station, right? And, and the Toyota dealership. Okay, there you go. Cheap eats, baby. 
Aloha, I'm Billy V sitting in for Guy Hagi on your Aloha Friday. We're recording this about 9 o'clock in the morning. Let's give you an idea of your weekend. First of all, the rain and wind trend model. And you can see that uh, we've got mostly uh, windward and Malka showers drifting leeward at times. That's a good part of the forecast. But also, as we put things in motion, you can see that we'll get the windward and Malka showers drifting leeward at times. And it's going to be consistent like that all the way through till the middle of next week. We're also keeping our eye on the East Pacific. Uh, this is due to to the fact that we've got some possible storm activity. Uh, first of all, a low chance of 30% in the next five days of something forming here. Over on this side, there's a high chance, 80% uh, chance that something might uh, form in the next five days. And this right here is a tropical depression, and that is not going to be a threat to any landmass at all. Let's go ahead and take a look at the waves. Uh, first of all, we do have a uh, trade wind swell. That's the east facing shores. That's going to be a little messy out there and choppy. North Shore is also getting a bump. This is due to an earlier this week storm near the continental United States. Wave energy three to five there. The rest is below one to three, but box jellyfish are in the water with your UV index at 12. And as you can see, after that energy goes by, there is nothing in the way of energy uh, probably until later part of next week. Let's get you once again the forecast seven days look ahead and it's really easy. Take today and you can copy and paste that not only for today Friday, but all the way through the weekend until the middle of next week. As always, get the latest on air, online, on your mobile device and at HawaiiNewsNow.com. E na hoa makamaka mai Hawaii nui o ke avia hiki ni i hau ka hele lani na kama aina na malihini aloha O wau Billy V ma uh, Hawaii News Now Sunrise, uh, Hawaii 105, KINE, University of Hawaii Athletics Happy Aloha Friday everybody Welcome to the show, we've got a good show for you, there's been a lot that's been happening uh, we want to thank the producers. We are social distancing. So uh, I am by myself today, and we're hoping to have them in next week because uh, there's only uh, a couple of us, and we've all got masks on except for me because I'm the host. But um, here we go with today's show, and we've got a lot for you. First of all, I uh, want to go through some of the housekeeping stuff. If you have a chance, uh, what we'd love for you to do is, is that if you're watching us on YouTube, just like I think uh, Ku'u is, or, yeah, she's watching on YouTube, but on the Roku TV, anyway, if you're on YouTube, you can hit the subscribe button and uh, you can go ahead. Justin, I, I, J.I. Ray, I'm going to get you. I'm, uh, we're going to get to you in a moment. Um, we would love for you to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you will get a notification every time we go on the air, just like Auntie Raina did, although I think she got that notification over on the Facebook site. So many people on the broadcast today. Uh, TJ, uh, is like Hawaii Calls 2020 style. Wow, I, I'm privileged. Thank you, Wisconsin. Please send some cheese. My wife would love that. Thank you very much. Let's speak to the rumors that I'm running for governor. No. <laughs> Jay Iray. I love you. Thank you very much. Hi, team, uh, team broadcast, team Billy V. T Tracy, thank you so much. They are monitoring and they are producing uh, from home. Jenny, getting ready to fly to Baltimore, so sh you will re-watch when you land. No worries. And safe travels to you. There are so many people. I, there's some new names that I have never seen before. Elsian Clegg, and I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. If you're new, put the word new. 
Uh, before you put anything else, just so I knew that you're new and here on the broadcast, if you're from outside of Hawaii, well, actually, it doesn't matter where you are, let me know where you're watching this afternoon. Before we do anything else, let's go take a look outside right now. And this is, let's see if we can get um, bring this up for you. I think we can. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yes, we can. There it is. That's a live picture right there. That is Pipeline. Uh, there are a couple of things. Uh, there's some waves and there's a swell up on the north-facing shores of the Hawaiian Islands. And we'll, uh, it's, it's on the north shore, it's three to five feet today. We are under a partial lockdown, I guess you could say. Uh, we have a mandatory that nobody's supposed to be on the beaches unless you're traversing. In other words, you can't stay on the beach and park on the beach. But if you were to go down into the water, you can. I am thinking that with those waves over there, I'm not sure how many people are going to go into the water. So there are a few people out there, but just know that uh, Honolulu Police Department, or we affectionately call them HPD, our men and women in blue, uh, they have been giving out citations for those that are on the beach that are just lounging because that's a governor's order because of COVID-19. So while you can't be on the beach, it is beautiful to look at. And that's an example of our weather um, and what we've got over here. And the non already, <laughs> J.I. Ray, thank you very much. Indiana is in the house. Thank you very much, Indiana, for watching all the way here in Hawaii. I, I, I don't know. Do you have local ties? Rick, have you been here before? Let me know. Uh, over at Kuleo O, and sound is good. Gail is there. She's probably with her ukulele. From the island of Kauai, Lady Ipo. Kaho Naili Ferreira is watching. Thank you so much. Nice to see you on. Danyo Cummings. That's a new name I haven't seen here on the broadcast. Welcome. Aloha to you. And keep those comments coming. Let's see. We are going to go ahead and get into some of our uh, entertainment news. And what we'll do is, oh, a um, couple of things before we do that. Uh, just a reminder, uh, there are several press conferences going on right now. Uh, I know the governor's on. Uh, I think he's on right now. He should be. Uh, I saw that um, Tulsi Gabbard, congresswoman for the state of Hawaii, was also having a press conference. So if you need the latest, you can always go to hawaiinewsnow.com or you can go to hawaiinewsnow.com after the show and we'll be able to, uh, they'll be able to share you more there because I can't do that because I'm here. But don't forget, Hawaii News Now Sunrise, that's in the mornings starting at 5, um, 4.30. Let's go ahead and give you some entertainment news real quickly. Uh, we had a great time. We were over on the windward side of Oahu. We were at the Hawaiian uh, Slack Key Guitar Festival, and there was all kinds of entertainment there. So we have, there's going to be times here on the show when we do have video that we can share with you. Usually if we sh share music videos, we don't show you the whole thing. If we're playing for you a song, we don't play with you the whole thing because we want you to go out and find and support those artists. So here's a little bit of the Slaki Guitar Festival from this past weekend. All 
all of that great music for you there. Sorry, let, let you listen to Uncle Ed. All right, so all that wonderful entertainment for you. Uh, let me tell you that while you've been, uh, this is the uh, past weekend's Hawaiian Slack Key Guitar Festival. There's another one coming up on August 22nd. I'll be your host. And there's going to be a lot of the same artists, some different artists there. But it's a Hawaiian Slack Key Guitar Festival Kona style. So mark your calendars. That's going to be on August 22nd. That is a Saturday. And I will be there with you as your host. And by the way, if you ever want to support any of our uh, local slot key guitar players, uh, you can go and donate to the Kihualo Foundation. Let's go ahead and show you some, uh, some, some other things that were happening. There was, at the same time that the Hawaiian Slacky Guitar Festival was going on, there was also the Gabi Pahinui Waimanalo Kanikapila. We stand in Kapu Aloha. Now I know some of you are going, hey, wait, get some of the same guys was playing one event. They was playing at the other event. Well, yeah, yes, but you, you got to keep in mind that, you know, Gabi Pahinui was like one of the kings of Hawaiian slack key guitar. Uh, there were so many tunings that he knew, so many songs that he knew. So uh, that's the reason why that uh, slack key guitar festival and Gabi Pahinui are synonymous with each other. The only thing is this is the only year that it's somehow because of COVID-19. Usually these two events are six months apart, but this year it just kind of fell on to actually the same day. Um, there are radio hosts or former radio hosts, Brickwood Galuteria and Kimo Kahawano. They were among your MCs and Kimo Kahawano was out there and this was something that he did not See coming. The Na'alehu Theater and the Senate of the State of Hawaii commands and congratulates Kimo Kawano as being the 2020 Jacqueline Skylake Rossetti Broadcasting Award commemorating excellence in broadcasting and outstanding impacts and life's works recipient. We are honored, honored to pass on the heritage of Pops Gabby Pahinui of Ciro. Of blah, Boro, play upside down, all good. And Martin, who came from rock and roll back to Hawaiian music to love it. Thank you guys. Thanks to the memory of Scott. Go to uh, gabbypahinui.com if you need more information. Once again, the Gabby Pahinui uh, Waimanalo Kani Kapila. And that comes to you uh, always on uh, in April. Uh, but this year they had to do it in August just because of the way that everything happened. So uh, make sure that you're supporting both events and lots of great musical entertainment that was there for you. Want to say, as while we're talking about great Hawaiian music and entertainment, congratulations to the group KL Ho, especially to one family. Uh, we're talking about Zachary and Uilani. And there's a picture of them there. I'll put that over there in the middle. And... What happened was, is that uh, over the weekend, this past weekend, they had a baby, baby Kualoa, which, by the way, uh, Kualoa arrived on his own time 10 days after his due date and after 46 hours of labor. Baby and mommy are fine. Daddy is over the moon. So congratulations to uh, this wonderful couple as they celebrate brand new addition to the family, baby Kua Ola. And the reason why I slowed down there is I just wanted to make sure that I said that correctly. So cute. Congratulations 
to the whole family. Uh, there is a story that went viral that it, it, we told you about this over on Hawaii News Now. So Sean Tiwanak is a Hawaii entertainer, a uh, Hawaii recording artist, cousin of Brian Tolentino, who, by the way, Brian, thank you very much for bringing this to my attention. Sean Tiwanak has had medical problems, uh, several medical problems over the years, uh, especially having to deal with his heart. Well, found out that he needed to have a heart transplant. So he goes over to Los Angeles. He is waiting for a donor, and he they have bumped him up to be next on the list. So while Sean is there, he has his ukulele, and what does he do? He's the patient, but he's entertaining frontline workers. Okay, but th that's not the end of the story there. I mean, yes, I mean, that's extraordinary that he's the patient, but he's the one that is entertaining. However, he got a gift. There is a uh, national comedian. Her name is Kristen Key, and she gave online a message to Sean Tiwanak. Here's the little gift that she had. Hey, Sean, it's Kristen Key. I heard about your new heart. Ah, oh, can I see the scar? Anyway, I just wanted to say cheers to the start of your new life with your new heart. May it beat with all the love the old one had in it, but with a new funky rhythm instead of ga gunk ga gunk May it go ba da ba da ba ba And people everywhere will start dancing to the beat of your new funky heart. Be ba da ba da ba da Everywhere people are dancing to your funky heartbeat. Everywhere people are dancing to your new funky heartbeat. And it'll be for everyone. They'll be dancing in the street to the beat of Sean's new heartbeat. And if you listen really slow, each heartbeat says aloha. It's true, your heartbeat says I love you. It goes ba dam ba dam ba da, ba dam ba dam ba da. Everybody's dancing to the sound of your new heartbeat. Ba dam ba dam da, ba dam ba da ba ba. Your heart says aloha. Your heart says aloha. Congratulations on the new heart. And I heard you're already spreading so much love with it. And um, anyway, wishing you um, much aloha from me to you. Wow, that's awesome. Not only does she play great ukulele, but... You know, it's nice to see somebody that's from Los Angeles that knows and understands what aloha is. You, you can tell. And by the way, there's a picture of Sean. He is heart transplant. He's good. He's slowly recovering. And he hopes to be back here in Hawaii very, very soon. Sean, awesome. Good job. Spreading the aloha wherever you go. That's awesome. Uh, Quentin Kanai is online. And, and yeah, I know, heavy, Bob, right? It, what, that you, you love those kinds of stories, you know what I mean? And, and Gail, yes, pure love across the the miles. Awesome. And that, that's some of the stuff that we like to bring you on the show. You know, the other thing that we like to do is we like to connect people that are away from back home. Sean had to be away, but, you know, com connecting him with back home. And so that's what we love to do. And we love to, you know, give you all the entertainment news for everybody here at home that would enjoy moments like this. Imagine Kelly Boy DeLima. He goes out and he's cruising with Ledward Ka'apana, two icons, right? Legends. And then what do they do? They decide, hey, let's go visit the ambassador of Aloha, Danny Kalekini. Mm -hmm. 
了爱阿弥陀佛，哎，嗨啦！你好。Now that's got to make you smile on a Friday, right? Just to see them all right there, legends and having a good time. Kani Kapila action, so that's awesome. And congratulations to them. Oh, let's get you back over to me. There we go. Woohoo. Um, let's play you some brand new music. Uh, during the Hawaiian Slaki Guitar Festival, I was sitting like about, well, about this far away from Tavana because I was emceeing. And Tavana says, oh, and by the way, coming up on Monday, we're going to make an announcement about a brand new song. And I turn and I go, really? Brah, why don't you just tell me right now? So not only did he tell me, but also he shared a little bit uh, that this is what the brand new album is going to look like. Let me put that in the middle there. And if you knew Tavana from before, he used to have like, he was like the Samson of Hawaii. He had like hair for days that would just curl and, and go downward. You know, I mean, just like from the head, I'm just trying to get, you know, like this from the bolo head right there. So anyway, um, and so that's the new cover. The new album is called Sway, and I'm going to see, I think we can play a little bit of this here. So there you go. Once again, brand new music from Tavana that's going to be coming up real soon. Once again, we don't play the whole songs on here just because we don't want to. You know, want to make sure that when it does release that you, you go out and buy it. So, Tavana, just know that there's brand new music from Tavana McMore. Uh, release date is September 18th, so that's coming up uh, next month. It'll be on all digital outlets, and he will have hard copies for those of you that like to touch and feel a recording release. Um, coming up here, and I'm going to check real quickly here. I was hoping that we were going to have a guest on the show. And um, I don't think that we have him because I probably didn't start the meeting. So we could get him on. I have another meeting currently in progress. Okay, no, 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 stay there. Okay, so I need to check and see if he is possibly waiting to be interviewed. Uh, let me check that real quickly. And that's the neat thing about doing live is that sometimes these things happen. So as I am looking, I don't see him at the moment. So in the waiting room. So, um, and that's probably my bad. Nathan Avial was supposed to join us here on the show. And let me just make one more check here just to see if we've meeting currently in progress. And no, so I wanna be able to join the other meeting and I cannot at this time. Okay, so Nate, uh, do me a favor, um, go ahead and hang up from your side of the meeting and I'll hang up from mine and I'll try to talk to you in a little bit. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about Don Ho coming up here in a couple of moments. Uh, I do want to say hello to my auntie Doreen who's watching and auntie Doreen is talking to my mom and last week was my mom's birthday on the 11th. So mom, hi, happy birthday belated, but no, I wish you happy birthday. I wish you happy birthday on her actual day. So anyway, uh, mom. Hi, hi. Gladys is watching right now from New York City. Thank you very much. Oh, and by the way, Auntie Doreen was watching. She is watching on YouTube. So that's absolutely awesome. Look at that. Great job from all the entertainers. Uncle Danny, right on, brothers. You guys all heart. Nice. 
thank you so much for all the comments. Keep the comments coming, by the way. Um, okay, so you know what? We're going to move along, and we were hoping to talk to uh, Nathan Avial. The reason why we wanted to talk to Nathan is Nathan is the Naho Ku Hano Hano Award winner. And Nate, I got the I got the text message. Got it. Let me see if I can get you another invite here and still pull you into the show. Uh, Nathan is an Hoku Hanohana Award winner as a solo artist. He was also part of the group Hapa uh, at for a while with uh, Barry Flanagan, but he served many years uh, with alongside the legendary Don Ho. Yesterday uh, was Don Ho's ninetieth birthday. There was a television special that I think went out in 2008, and it re-aired last night. And in case you missed it on Hawaii News Now, it's going to air tomorrow night, 7 p.m. on KHNL. Let's give you a little bit of a preview. He was such a, he was like the ambassador to Hawaii. You know, he was our, our big Superhero. He was the best marketing tool Hawaii had. Uncle Don was really the first person who kind of like took me under his wing and, and taught me taught me everything. The celebrity thing I never never got to his head, you know. And um, he he was just truly loved loved his islands, loved his family, loved the people, you know, and loved music. That really inspired me because you know to see people happy and having a good time. Uh, and, and, and great music, you know, that's it's a great combination. Will there be another Don Ho? Not for a long time. All right, so there you go. There is a little bit of a preview for you of, uh, as I bring us back here into the studio here, I'm going to try to do that with camera one. A um, little bit of the uh, the special that's going to be on KHNL, and that's going to be coming up for you tomorrow night. If you get a chance to see it, I don't believe that it is online. So that's that's the only thing about that. So hopefully, if you're here in the Hawaiian Islands, go walk, take a walk down memory lane and go take in Don Ho remembered that's going to be on television hey nate if you are listening and watching just know that uh go look at your email okay um i just sent you an email message um hello to everybody that's also online and thank you so much for the comments keep those coming while we proceed with the show uh Ho'ola hawaii is coming up for you and that's going to be on Tuesday nights on K5 the on uh, K5 television and so we just want to show you some of the pictures from Moanalua Gardens of some of the performances these are still pictures it's not video um, that's because we want to save the video for you that's the group Aine uh, also uh, Mailani Makainai uh, hello to the group Moanalua They'll be on the show. Mike Kaava also. And if you get a chance to see his Facebook feed, you got to go and check it out. And also, Roby Kahakalao and Kalai Kamarillo. That is on K5 television on Tuesday nights. It's a half-hour show from 8 to 8.30 with great performances from Moanalua Gardens, brought to you by Moanalua Gardens. And then at 8.30, we have another uh, repeat show uh, for that half hour. So it's actually an hour show. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and move along on the list of things. Uh, Kuana Torres Kahele. Want to talk about him? And the Senate of the Thanks, guys. State of Hawaii. There you go. Want to talk about Kuana for a couple of moments. You know, uh, a couple of days ago, I was really kind of, and I don't know if you saw this on my Facebook, COVID-19 had kind of gotten to me, and I was kind of going, arr, arr, arr. how come people aren't wearing their masks, social distancing, look at the numbers, et cetera, et cetera. So I was kind of feeling kind of, mm, I, I don't know, not angry, but I was just not happy. So what I did was, is that I put out a call uh, saying that, hey, if you are a community leader, if you are a leader, say like you're running for office, you've got people that are following you, wanting to vote for you, if you're in office, you should be putting out something on social media, a post saying that 
you should be wearing your mask. It's not about the we. It's about you know, it's not about the me. It's about the we. It's it's a call co thing. Um, thank you, Kumuhina. She's the one that actually turned me on to that phrase. It's it's not about the me. It's about the we when we wear the masks. I'm not wearing it for me. I'm wearing it to protect you from me. Uh, you're wearing it to protect me from you. So I was kind of giving that message, feeling a little down. And not five minutes later did I get this in my inbox. Aloha mai kako. My name is Kona Torres Kahele. Encouraging you all to stay home if you need to go out. Malama ke kahi ke kahi. Wear your mask if you can go out. And above all, brush your teeth. Kwana, thank you very much. Appreciate that for those wonderful words. Uh, Kwana Torres Kahele, by the way, he's got a new website, but he's also got a new mask. That's awesome. I don't know where you got that mask from. Everybody's been asking me. Uh, and by the way, there's been others that have been since then sharing their masks too, like Auli'i Cravalho. And who else? Uh, Brian Beckwith is a former, uh, is, was a past member of the University of Hawaii Rainbow Warrior Volleyball Team server. And he is now in the education department in Hawaii, which means he's on the front lines, DOE, with the kids. So, right, right, you know, love, I'm sure you're talking about Kuana's mask, right? But, but love Brian's ones too. So, you know, that's awesome. And uh, thanks, Brian, for stepping up, wearing your mask. I know you have to, and we appreciate you and what you're doing for all of the kids. Uh, whenever there's inspiration, uh, there's a couple of people that we look to here. At least I do. Quentin Kanai is one of them. And every other week we have either Quentin Kanai or Kaleo Boy that steps up and, and gives us something to smile about, something to think about, something to be inspired by. Aloha Billy V and mahalo, mahalo, mahalo once again for having me on the Billy V live show and aloha to all of your viewers. My name is Kaleo Boy Kia and this is your motivational message of the week and it goes a little something like this. Never stop being a good person because of bad people. You see, Billy, it is natural human instinct for human beings to be kind and to be generous and just to overall be good people. But it isn't until we are influenced by other human beings that we start doing things that aren't as kind or aren't as generous. All right, so your challenge this week, guys, is simple. Stick to your intuitions and be the aloha you want to see in the world. No matter what anybody else is saying or doing, it is time for us to step up and to be the aloha we want to see. That right there is your motivational message of the week. Mahalo once again, Billy V. I look forward to seeing you all in two weeks. Have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you folks next time. Kaleo Boy Kia here. Peace, love, and aloha. Nice. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you very, very much. And you and Quentin, be the aloha. Last week, be the sunshine, you know, oh, and, and, and yeah, and wear the mask. Thank you very much, <laughs> Kuana. Thank you. I'm pushing all kinds of wrong buttons today. Uh, Someone said, yay, back with, way to be fun. Yeah, yeah. And thank you to everybody who's putting out the messages here. Hey, real quickly here, we're almost to the end of the show for this Aloha Friday. Um, and a deep apology to uh, to Nathan Aviao, because I think he's been on standby me for me. And Nathan, I think that you're watching. You know what? I'm still going to get that interview, but we'll do it off the air, okay? Thank you so much, Nathan. I appreciate very, very much. Um, we are going to... Oh, we wanted to make sure that uh, if you love the show, do me a favor, share it on your social media. We really, really appreciate that. Subscribe so that way... And make sure that you're liking and subscribing so that way uh, when we go on the air, you get the notification like right away. So... We appreciate that very, very much. We're going to, for those of you on the Facebook page, if you look up Billy V Live, eventually this show will get there just to kind of give you a heads up. So we're going to move it to a new Halle and we're, uh, it's actually, we've kind of opened it up. So we're, the new Halle is there. Uh, we'll eventually uh, get there in just a little bit. And Tracy, if you're going to call Nathan, but you don't have his number probably, so you can profusely apologize to him. Yes, I, and I got the message. I appreciate that. Uh, my team is behind the scenes. And ah, 
I, I appreciate that very, very much. And Ku'u says, yes, please interview him later. Nathan, I know. All the women always want me to interview Nathan because he looks so good, speaks so well. He's so muscular. And every time I see him, it makes me want to go and lift weights. Um, that's going to do it for our show for this Aloha Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, when you get a chance to... Um, I'll be on Hawaii News Now Sunrise coming up on Monday morning starting at 4.30. A whole of Hawaii on Tuesday nights. University of Hawaii Athletics, not yet. And then we just got told this past week that the football maybe is looking like it's going to be pushed over to the spring. So cross your fingers, go bows, and I need to be wearing my H gear. Next Friday, I will have my H gear on for Dave Matlin. Okay. Everybody, mala mapono. Uh, and make sure that you spread that aloha. Wash your hands, social distance, wear your mask, and yes, Kuana, brush your teeth. We're going to leave you with, uh, this was, oh, we didn't even go holo holo yet. We can't go yet. Oh, wow. Okay. Hang on one. I was hoping to have Dottie Gamayo, who lives in Waipio Valley, here for this. Um, but I'm going to have to put her on for next week because uh, she she's, was in a meeting. And she was going to call me back. And we missed touch with each other. This is beautiful Waipio Valley. And we had this already racked up for Holo Holo. So we want to make sure that we're doing it every week like we promised to. Um, I was flying drone this day. And it was just a beautiful day. And look at the ocean, you look at the sky, and you get centered up, and then we're going to kind of fly. We don't fly into the valley, we fly just kind of on the outside. And I really wish that sister was here, so that way, it's one thing to talk about Waipio Valley, but to really understand and to to really feel and, and tell you about... Um, Nathan, is Nathan is here. <laughs> You know what? We may have to delay the end of the show just because Nathan is here. Hang on, Nathan. I'm going to see if I can bring you up by phone here in just a couple of moments. Stay right where you are because right. I think I can while everybody enjoys the uh, video of YPO Valley. And Nathan, can you hear me, sir? Oh, wow. You are coming through loud and clear. Okay, we're going to come back to you. Stay right there, uh, and we'll talk some story. I appreciate very much, sir. Um, real quickly here, as we show you YPO Valley, uh, Dari Gomayo, uh, she was over on Kapo Radio over on Hawaii Island, uh, and she lives there in the back of the valley. And when we come back next week, we're going to have her describe from her manao, from her viewpoint, vantage point, from her heart point, what Waipio Valley on Hawaii Island means to her. In the meantime, this looks absolutely beautiful. On the phone lines with us on this Aloha Friday, and I am sorry that I, we couldn't get it the way we oh, wanted to. Oh, wait, let's get Kuana off there. Thank you, Kuana. It is the one and only Nathan Naviao. Nathan, good afternoon. Okay, Nathan, hang on for a second, because while I'm hearing you on my headset, I'm not able to get you through on the phone like it's supposed to, so we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. I am going to unplug my phone and put you on speaker, sir. Um, thank you so much, and say hi to everybody there, Nathan. Aloha. Aloha, everyone. We, we make it work however we need to here on the show. Hey, uh, we're going to play some footage here of, of Don Ho, but talk to us about Don Ho. When did you first start uh, associating with Don Ho? Tell us about that. Oh, man, that story goes way back. Um, it was um, when I became part of the group called the Elise. They, they started up uh, again. The showroom was at the Hula Hut showroom and they were in search of a bass player slash um musician slash singer so i was able to uh, luckily enough to get that part and then when donahoe found out that the elise was uh, doing the show he approached us and he asked about possibly uh having us back him up so it'd be uh donahoe and the elise like like the original uh how he used to do it in the 60s you know so that's how I started working with him. And, um, I, you know, I can't remember what year was that. I want to say 89. 
way back. <laughs> so, um, how was it working with Don Ho? Kind of, kind of storytell for it a little bit. Oh wow! Well, you know, yeah. I, I know I hear uh, horror stories from other people, but there's a reason why I was uh, his bass player for 16 years, and I always joke around about it. Um, but 16 years for a backup musician is kind of a long time. But I I stayed around, and and most of us did because he he really did take care of us. And when we do our yearly tours, uh, and we would check in, like uh, for example, check into a hotel. Uh, he first word that used to always come out of his mouth um, when being greeted by like the general manager, he would always say, "You make sure you take care of my boys." He would always say that, and that always uh, it re- I always uh, remembered that. You know, it made me feel good about that. So he so, yeah. always he always took care of, of of those that were around him. How was he with the audience? He was good with the audience. Um, he had he had his um strong followers from back in the day and you know naturally everyone gets older um and um generations come um, via their grandparents telling them about the don hall and and uh, so they uh, their kids and their grandkids would come and and uh, they had to see don hall when they came into town you know uh, but hey it was good it was good with um everyone very soft-spoken man what is your? Do you have a favorite moment that you had with Don Ho? Oh, I got so many stories from from tours like that, but I have to say my favorite was uh, every Fridays, every Friday mornings we would all go golfing. Um, basically, at the Kolau Golf Course, it was uh, Benny Chong, uh, myself, Don, and and Hamia, his wife, and um, it was so funny because. We all enjoyed golfing and, and, and everything, but for some reason, Don enjoyed hunting for lost golf balls. So what? He, yeah, so he would literally bring along trash bags, and on certain holes, he knew that, okay, if I went down this gully, I could probably find golf balls. And sure enough, we would lose him for a few minutes, and he would just tell us, don't worry about me, I'll, I'll catch up with you guys. You know, and then he comes up from the gully and or like he'd be you can hear him from afar yelling, I need help, I need help you know, trying to get up. So <laughs> and he, he would come out of the gully area and literally the trash bags would be full of lost golf balls. And we used to get a kick of that because he for some reason he enjoyed doing that. Then he would take it home and throw it in his um washing machine and all you would hear blah, 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 blah. Oh <laughs> no. Yeah, that was his thing and we used to crack off of that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what do you miss the most? The camaraderie, um, with uh, especially when we were on tours, um, just going to the U.S. and hitting. Um, there was one year where we would be on the east side, and we'd be in Buffalo area. We go to Niagara Falls, and we had a tour tour bus. So the whole band and and uh, Don and and everyone. Uh, was on a bus and we just enjoyed each other's company really enjoyed it I, I one thing that that always impressed me the most is don wasn't the type to dress really nice with the slacks <laughs> and, and you know so uh, we, would, we would go into like a certain area and and in fact uh, one incident when we went to pick up the uh, tour van um the person checking us in looked at it looked at it had her uh, papers and said, oh this is the don home band oh so where's don home and Don's sit, standing right in front of her with shorts and t-shirt. And we're laughing because they assume that he's here's this big star and he's going to be dressed up a certain way with dark shades and everything. But that was never Don. Don was just his regular guy with slippers and t-shirt and everything. And uh, we got a kick out of that because they, they always uh, were surprised when they first met him uh, off stage. You know, he was just a normal guy. What's the one thing that you learned the most from Don? Oh, he used to scold me. I, one thing I remember, um, when I first started playing, uh, playing, I was this young, little snot-nosed punk musician that thought I knew everything, you know? And one, one day, one night during the show, he just looked at me. He said, he told me that, you know your problem. Nathan, you know your problem. You know too much music. So I was so shocked to hear that. Like, I never heard that before. But he, he challenged me. He said, the whole night, I want you to play whole notes. 
um, nothing fancy. In other words, just don't don't just whole notes, four counts per every uh, measure, uh, every song through the whole night. And I looked at that, and and he was serious about it. An interesting thing about that, um, it really forced me to say, okay, if I take that one single note, how can I make it the most musical note that I ever played in my life? That's really hard to do in actuality. So he really taught me the the whole idea of simplicity, uh, the beauty in simplicity. And to this day, I never forgot that. I, and uh, as much as I love being fancy on my bass guitar and all that stuff, when I'm playing with someone and when I'm backing up someone, the first thing is, what can I do to feature them and not get in their way? You know, it's it's about being supportive and not being the front, you know, hey, look at me, I'm a bass player, you know, or blah, 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 blah. So he really challenged me in that. And to that that time, I never forgot that about playing whole notes every night. I mean, every show, uh, song that night. Wow. Uh, just just the memories. Um, I remember the last time that I saw Don was when I was uh, announcing at the Pro Bowl. And he was there with Jasmine Trias. And he sang to the crowd there. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think that was... 2007 wasn't sure yeah 2007 i think was the year but don was always the immaculate professional laid back professional totally laid back yeah <laughs> brother um what's new with you well i got you on the phone real quick anything new coming up you know i'm, I'm always writing i'm in my, my little studio right now and doing things and um but with this pa- pandemic thing going on oh, i'm yeah. just trying to focus on making sure you know family is is safe and everything all right. Well, we hope that your family is safe and happy and healthy. And brother, we really, really appreciate you being with us by phone. And I'm really sorry about the Zoom. <laughs> no, sorry. I think it's my fault. <laughs> ah, no worries. All right. Once again, there's a picture of Nathan that you see right there. Now, Hoku Hanohana Award winner. And brother, have yourself a wonderful weekend. Aloha. You too. Thank I, you. I appreciate the call. Aloha. Nathan Alvial on the show. Real quickly, uh, since you saw a little bit of it, and it's probably one, you know, a lot of people remember Don Ho from back in the day when it was he was on the Brady Bunch with Uncle Sam Kapoor. So, you know what? Let, let's play just a little bit of it for you right now. Meet someone you suit me to a Happy 90th birthday, Don Ho. We're going to leave you with a uh, song here. Uh, we'll bring it back into the studio. There we go. Oh, we keep going back to Kwanda towards Kahele. All right. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. We've got it back to me. Um, we're going to go do one more thing, and we're going to play a video for you. And the video is of the last night. Um, Natalie Ai Komou was on stage at the Hawaii Theater, and they were streaming live. Um, and she was uh, the featured entertainer of the evening. Uh, Brother Wade was off to the side, and he was going ahead, and he was uh, shooting some video. And so I thought that we were going to play that for you, but I am not seeing it right here right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of moments here while I know I can bring that uh, video back up and we'll go ahead and play it for you. Hey, don't forget um, every Wednesday, (laughs) Nathan, no worries. I just got the message. All good. Um, Every Wednesday, we, uh, 
Wednesday. Every Friday, we are here at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So if you get a chance, come on by. And we're always here, and we're always glad that you take in the show. I'm going to leave you with the music of Natalie Ali Kamau as she was performing... Okay, and that's not going to work either because the audio is not coming from Facebook out through the main system. So we'll do without that. And I guess we will say malamo pono aloha ahui ho. And thank you so much for watching here, uh, Billy V Live. Uh, until next time, aloha. Make sure you're watching, uh, washing your hands, social distancing, wear your mask.